Hey friends, where are you looking today? So often I think it's easy to be held back by constantly looking back. We look back at what could have been. We look back at maybe what should have been. We look into our past with regret. Or maybe we look into our past with guilt. Maybe we look into our past with shame. But we are held back because we are constantly looking back. But this is what Paul writes to the church in Philippi. In Philippians chapter 3, verses 13 and 14, he says, One thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead, I press on towards the goal of the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Paul had a lot he could have looked back on. Years wasted pursuing false things. Regrets of harming people who really deserve no harm. He could have looked back a lot and been held back by looking back. But he says, no, one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind, I look forward to what lies ahead. He was not held back by looking back. He looked forward to what God had called him to in Christ Jesus. He looked forward to salvation from judgment. He looked forward to the forgiveness of sins. He looked forward to adoption into God's family. He looked forward to unending love. He looked forward to eternal joy and renewal and revival and restoration and glory in the life to come. See, all these things are ours in Jesus. And we move forward in life by looking forward to what is ours in Christ. We move forward in life by looking forward to what is ours in Christ. Sometimes we have to look in the rearview mirror to maybe back out of a driveway or where I live in Philly, there are no driveways. So backing out of a parking spot, you know, your first move sometimes is to look back. But you do that so that you can then put it in drive and look forward to what lies ahead. Like the only way to make progress and to get out of your spot, the only way to actually get on your way to your destination is not by looking in the rearview mirror. Like if you're trying to drive the whole time looking in the rearview mirror, you're going to get in a lot of trouble really fast. The only way to move forward is putting that thing in drive and not looking over your shoulder, but looking ahead through the much bigger windshield and seeing where you're going to go. This is what God wants us to do in Jesus. He wants us to look ahead at all that God has for us in Christ. And as we look ahead to Christ, we don't keep looking in the rearview mirror. No, we look ahead and that's how we move forward in our Christian lives. Friends, God wants us to live with forward-looking eyes to all that he has accomplished for us in Christ and all that he's called us to do for Christ. God wants us to live not looking in the rearview mirror, but looking forward through the windshield of Jesus in the gospel. And so where are you looking today? Maybe one of the reasons that you're feeling held back right now is because you're spending too much time looking back and God wants to call you to look forward. One thing I do forgetting what lies behind and straining. It takes effort. There's a straining, Paul says, straining to look ahead. Friends, it's worth the effort of not being held back in our past, but looking forward to our future. Because in Jesus, the best is always yet to come. And so no matter what has happened to you in your past, or no matter what you have done in your past, in Jesus, we are not captive to our past, but we have a future to look forward to that is secured by the life, death, resurrection, and ascension of Jesus. And so friends, look to Jesus. Look to Jesus and the future that is yours in his. That's how God wants us to live life, not being held captive by our past, but looking forward with hope in Christ.